You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit 2019 in Amsterdam. And joining me now is Hans Jurgen Smitka, who is co chair of the OOPT project group at TIP. Hans Jurgen, good to see you again on Telecom TV. When last we spoke, it was at last year's TIP Summit. What's been happening with the OOPT's work in the preceding 12 months? So the group is developing actually very, very nicely. Um, we have a lot of updates particularly around the DCSG group, the Disaggregated Cell Site Gateway Switch Router group. Um, they have done a phenomenal progress. They really have line of sight to mass deployment for the switch and router and uh, have built an ecosystem of uh, more than 20 companies. Um, and this serves also as a blueprint uh, for future deployments from literally building, defining, testing, validating, building ecosystems down to the actual deployment and lending. Um, that is uh, actually a very, very good example and uh, Vodafone and Telefonica lead the way here in a, in a very remarkable manner. But this is not the only update. We see a lot of progress around uh, the packet optical side where uh, Galileo and Cassini with a couple of announcements around that where we see uh, a lot of test, test runs uh, and, um, and also deployment ideas and models uh, evolving right now. So we see a lot of progress on many fronts, from the layer zero up to layer three, from uh, management systems and from an ecosystem building. How are the TIP community labs helping with the work that you do in the project groups? So uh, the community labs are absolutely important to us for so many reasons. It is a place where people come together and build together. So it becomes like a, a crystallization point of uh, innovation where, where the community lab, lab provides not only the hardware but also the framework. And, and people coming together, building ecosystems, is I think is uh, nearly only possible when you have those places and locations. Bear in mind what this group is for, TIP, but also of course OPT within TIP uh, is about deployment, it's about lending, it's about not just creating and developing ideas but also the lending of the ideas. And, and this is uh, the most important uh, intermediate step to actually come together and create. Collaboration is so important, not only within TIP, but also externally with other associations and organizations. There seems to be an increasing overlap between the work of TIP and the Open Compute Project, OCP. I, I believe it is. Um, it is significant because uh, many of the hardware models, but also some of the software models are applicable across the data centers and the telco world. So these uh, collaborations enrich each other. And uh, I think uh, OCP can learn from TIP, TIP can learn from OCP, and that is just helpful for the entire industry. Um, but not only in these, uh, these uh, uh, that's not only true for OCP, but actually for all standard bodies and open bodies, uh, sharing uh, and working together uh, enriches themselves. Um, there are many examples, by the way, when you look at uh, some of the ASIC models uh, in switching and routing inside the data centers are very much so applicable outside the data center in the wide area network. So we see a lot of commonalities. I see a lot of really good collaboration and it really helps both, both groups. Is the development of the edge and edge computing an important factor here? Right. So uh, you might remember uh, a while ago we, we did Voyager and it was a was a packet optical uh, transport integration based on Acacia and Broadcom chips and actually was based on the VEG um, that we've built, VEG 100, that's a topple rack switch. So inside the data center, topple rack switch, we did a deviation of that and, uh, and made it a wide area network uh, switch router packet optical transport device. So I would say uh, some of the physical models are very much applicable, of course not everything, uh, but that is exactly what we need to figure out. How important are cloud native technologies to telcos as we look beyond virtualization and how does it impact on the work that TIP is doing? So I believe very much so. Um, it's, it's one of those very efficient models uh, of continuous development, certification, testing, pushing of code that, that actually uh, the data centers, most of them have actually implemented already. Um, and it allows you to have a very, very good operational model. Um, and I think many of the telco operators, um, but so we believe as well, is, uh, is this is applicable um, in the wide area network as well. And it can result into a tremendous operational saving 
um, very fast bug fixing, you know, very down to earth uh, scaling of networks uh, that is very, very efficient. And so we believe that that we uh, that what we built in TIP is actually rallied around these operational models of continuous testing, continuous push of software and continuous improvement. And instead of uh, relying on a year, two year cycle, you do it continuously. It's a tremendous advantage from a business and, and, and CapEx and TCO perspective. Jürgen, thank you very much. Thank you very much.